in Minneapolis. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Trevor Hildenberger enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Trevor Hildenberger. Digging in once again, Lionel Tapia. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. Yeah, now this guy flexed his muscles in that last at-bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that now ball, that stay square as long as possible. Hitter and Younger. feed it into the opposite Alonso. field for a base hit. Younger Alonso will stand in yet again, and he's looking for history now. We take you back to his last home run. This was his fourth of the ball game, and it needn't be said that five in a game has never been done before. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Drilled right back up the middle. And that'll just elude his outstretched glove for a base hit. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five hit ball game for him here. And those don't come along every day. Standing in now, Tony Walters. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Just missed a home run to the deepest part of the yard. It's off the wall. Tapia ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. And he's safe at the play as they extend their lead even further. Hey, Dero, they're making this guy pay. That's three straight singles and a run driven in. Yeah, nothing hit extremely hard. Killing them softly, station to station with those knocks. Into the box now, Charlie Blackman. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Buxton is going to get there. One out. Now batting the shortstop, Trevor Story. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Trevor Story. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. It's last that bad his second home run of the game. the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Hard on the ground towards short. A bare hand for one. On the first, man, what a good one play. And the inning is over. He's forced to settle for one. Down to the bottom of inning number seven. The Rockies are out in front, 24 to nothing. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Leading Max off. Kepler is 0 for 2 thus far right in this field. one. We're moving Back. right along into this one as we hit into the late innings. Listen, if you want to score, you got to have to bunch some hits together, and they haven't been able to do that yeah. so far. So hopefully, this leadoff guy, this will be the right guy at the right spot to get something going. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Boy, this is an absolute gift to them, especially when they've had so much trouble getting anybody on base. So now the leadoff hitter is aboard and might be looking to run. They've got to do whatever they can to get some offense going. Into the box, Jorge Polanco as he lifts it in the air to right field. Therefore, it is Blackman, and he's got it for the first out. Now batting, the designated hitter. Now it will be the Minnesota D.H. Cruz. Nelson Cruz, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. From the stretch, here's the pitch. In there, and it's 0-1.
Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. At the ball. And a classic 0-2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's 1-2 and two now. Wow, really close pitch on 0 and 2. That just missed, and if he hits that spot right there again, he might get the call next time. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven now outs away now. No he's really there. racked up the strikeouts Eddie. in this one, and this guy's been what? victimized Mario. three times already today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. In now, Eddie Rosario. Ah. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Rosario behind with an 0 and 2 count. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Line toward center field. And that's a base hit. So the no hit bid ends here in the seventh. Ah, so he was able to take it into the seventh. Up but the no the hit win. bid is going to end the here with two play. out in inning number he seven. Can. Boy, Matty, this Stop. is when you start oh. really thinking about a no hitter once you get into the seventh. And it's hard not to look past getting through that last out. But Dero, it just wasn't meant to be here with two outs in the seventh. No, he's pitched a heck of a game without question. You can't deny that. But this offense is going to stay on the attack. We'll see if this manager turns it over to the bullpen or allows this guy to finish it on his own. On to first, and the Twins are turned away here as the side is retired. Twin strand a pair, and as you can see, they are way behind. At the plate, David Dahl. He homered back in the third inning in this one. David Dahl. First offering on its way. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. As we head toward a conclusion in this one, I think it's fair to say that it's going to be a long time before you see a team perform like this again at the plate. Yeah, the ability of this lineup to hit that many home runs, I mean, strewn throughout the line, it screams to the modern day of baseball. The three true outcomes, these guys aren't worried about hitting singles. They're trying to stop traffic over that fence. d -Roy, I, I, it can't be better said. Yeah, I think the day and age right now for pitchers is you have to approach just about every pitch like it's a two-strike pitch. No get-me-over curveballs, no get-me-over change-ups. Every pitch has to be thrown with a purpose. So next it'll be the number four batter for the Rockies Nolan Arenado who's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. He's set and the pitch. Owen won the count. The 0 1 pitch. Here's Arenado with a drive. Well hit to left and deep. Back goes Rosario. Boom goes the dynamite. It's a two run shot to straight away left. His second of the game as they just continue to pour it on here. I think if this pitch would have been a little higher and in on his hands, it would have been effective. But he left this one belt high. Big mistake. He's a guy that will feast on belt high pitches on the inner half, which is pretty obvious now. now Number 19 enters from the bullpen Number to do 19. the pitching. Standing in now, Daniel Murphy. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. 
That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. Stepping in now, Ryan McMahon. He swings and grounds it to short. And a glove flip for one. On to first, and they get them both. Now battle, the center fielder, Rymo Tapia. We don't get to see the glove tossing up, but boy, it can really help save some time, and it looks good to boot. That's smooth. Into the box, Rymel Tapia. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. Now the 0-1. Yanked hard, but foul to the right. Another one sent foul. Into the corner and slicing foul. Hey, he's got four foul balls in this A.B. right here. He's really making his pitcher grind for everything. The 0-2 once more. Back up the middle. Backhanded. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors and no one left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Rockies lead it 26 to nothing. There's Marwin Gonzalez now. He leads off their Some half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Nope. The fastball here is you'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to it either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. That swung on and missed, and we're even at one and one. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. That's Lays off two. two and two now. I got to count two and two. Two two one more time. Popped up. Murphy over to his left, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting number two. Stepping into the box, number two. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope. And ball this is one. low ball one. Count one and zero. Oh.
And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Blackman will put this one away, and that's out number two. Now batting, catcher, Mitch Garver. Now at the plate, Mitch Garver, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. On its way is pitch number 75. Line shot to second, but it's caught, and the side is retired. Down go the Twins in order, and they remain well, well behind. Striding forward now is the D.H. Yonder Alonso. They'll try and lead things off here in inning number nine. Alonso. The pitch hit sharply toward the right side, and that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. That was pretty obvious in live action that that ball was hit hard. And after analyzing it with our show track technology, we see that our eyes did not deceive us. 114 miles an hour was the exit velo, an impressive swing of the bat. In now, Tony Walters, as he'll swing at the first pitch and bang one into right center field. That's a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. It's so important, right Mark, field. to start to Number make quality nine. pitches. And if you don't, this is what can happen. Two batters, two base hits, first and third, nobody out. Yeah, and you just got to prepare yourself as an offensive player. You're just trying to get the runner in from third. You can't worry about creating a monster inning. Do your job. Standing in now, Charlie Blackman. Mind to the right side. Boy, and caught off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Yeah, the man, hard to stay the focused on though. the game when the score Trevor is this far out Stewart. of hand, especially when you're on the losing side of it. Even as broadcasters, it can be a little bit challenging to stay fully dialed in. Riding in and working on a terrific performance in this one, Trevor Story. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five-hit performance here. From the stretch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. and one here it comes mm, okay, got him out of his front foot it's 0 and two well we know what this guy's approach is he's looking to go absolutely deep right here I don't see him getting anything over the heart of the plate here comes the 0 2 pitch and he turns this one around high and deep to center field Buxton is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plane. Well, this ends up being a sack fly, but you've got to love the effort out there. The Sacrificed his body to make that catch, and I'll tell you, that didn't feel good. Probably saved extra bases by making that play. Stepping in now, David Dahl. He'll swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. And he's working on a five RBI game. Quite a performance we're seeing from him in this one. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Line towards center field. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. 
And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Hey, every pitcher likes to have some run scored for him, but particularly when you're throwing as well as he is tonight, and he gets another insurance run on top of it. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Nolan Arenado. Already a pair of long balls on his line in this one, so we'll see what else he has in store here. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get it. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. <laughs> Nolan Arenado touches them all. His third home run of the ball game as the blowout continues. Well, the ball's been flying all over the place this game, but most of the fireworks have come from him. That's his third long ball. What a game. Trevor May comes on to pitch now, hoping now for better for results the than the other arms that Number they've run 65. out there in this one. Trevor. Into the box, Daniel Daniel. Murphy. Murphy. Lying toward the gap in left center. Buxton is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So they score four times on four hits, no errors, and no one left on base. We'll head now to the bottom of the ninth. Colorado's out in front, 30 to nothing. Now at the plate, Byron Buxton. He'll lead Leading things off, off here as we play. play the bottom of the ninth. The center fielder. First Byron. offering on its way. Buxton. And a fastball is in there for strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. He's feeling it out there on the mound. Just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there to try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full right advantage field. of that. He's Matt. pounding the zone with strikes, Kepler. and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Into the box now, Max Kepler. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Little chopper back to the mound. Scooped up on the backhand. And they won't have a play as he reaches it first. Let's see how this is scored. And it's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dad, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D. Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle, and you know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. In now, Jorge Polanco as the fastball is swung on and missed. Good location down at the knees for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Here's the 0-1 pitch. And another strike. Good fastball under the hands. It's 0-2. A ball and two strikes to the twin shortstop. Kepler, base runner at first with one out. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Now batting. The in now, hitter. Nelson Cruz. Nelson. He's their last shot here with two away Ooh. in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one.
first pitch of the at bat. Popped him up. Murphy has room in foul territory. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Wow, talk about total dominance. Nine innings, only two hits allowed. That's about as good as it gets. This guy was as good in the ninth inning as he was in the first. So close to baseball history. 30 to nothing the final this afternoon. The Rockies jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Kyle Freeland pitches well enough to get the W. Jose Barrios permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Time of the ball game, four hours and two minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.